Well, good morning from the galley of the Here's To Us. It is Sunday, so that means Belgium Waffle Sunday. Um, now, how did it come to be? Well, two reasons. I'll tell you that as we go along. For Belgium Waffles on a boat, I do this Aunt Jemima Complete. Because all you have to do to make pancakes is add water. To make waffles, you do need to add some vegetable oil. That's the easiest thing. Other um, box mixes, you have to add eggs and milk and oil. Um, and that's a lot of ingredients to have to have on hand. With this, the reason I use it is you just have to have water and oil. So what I did, took those two cups of mix, put it in a mixing bowl here. It takes a cup and a half of water. And this is not a secret family recipe. This is actually written right on the side of the box. It also takes a third cup of oil, vegetable oil. So let me put that in there. And we're going to mix this all up. The reason we have Belgium Waffle Sunday is because I got a Belgium Waffle um, maker as a gift and I wanted to take it with me on the boat. Well, Sam was like, no, we don't have room. It's going to weigh the boat down. So I declared Sunday Belgium Waffle Sunday. So um, I would have a reason to pull out the Belgium Waffle Maker every Sunday. Also, when you travel on a boat and you live on it full time, most of the time you do not have any idea what day of the week it is. And I, I'm not kidding. You don't know. It's just every day seems like, um, you know, just another day. But if you make it something special, we always know when Sunday rolls around because it's Belgium Waffle Sunday. So I'm mixing this up. I want to get all the lumps out, out of it. And um, we also, not just for that reason, um, did we make it on Sunday, but also we have uh, put out a travel newsletter on Sunday. If you go to our website, um, it's whatyachttodo.com. Um, right there on the home page, you can sign up for our Sunday newsletter. We give, the people from that newsletter, we give them little, um, I don't know, we put information out there that we don't put anywhere else. So uh, if you're interested in following along, seeing what we do every Sunday, um, or it's a, I guess a week, a weekly um, cap of what we've done that, that week. Now we do that whenever um, we've got good internet, so... Sometimes it's late, sometimes it's uh, really late, and sometimes we skip it all together. But pretty much every Sunday, we have Belgium waffles, and we do the newsletter. So I got my two-thirds cup of mix. I'm putting it in the center here. Now, Sam is uh, quite picky about the crispiness. I think I need a little more on there. Uh, the crispiness of the waffle. So, you know, it's very much like um, boys spring break holding up a, a, a some kind of bikini contest or wet t-shirt contest holding up a number from 1 to 10. That's what it's like on the boat with uh, Belgian waffles. The crispiness factor has to be there. But sometimes it can get too crispy. Oh, okay, so I shouldn't have put the extra in there because now it's bubbling over on the other side. Can you hear that? Bubble, bubble. That's, I'm glad on the side that um, as filming it looks nice and uh, nice and clean. I didn't even have to tell you that happened, but when I flip it over, you're going to tell. Anyway, um, back to the crispiness factor. Some people like their waffles uh, soft. Some like them crispy and... Um, Sammy likes his crispy. I like mine crispier than he does, but anyway. Um, I also have a little baby waffle maker, and I like to get them going at the same time. Make little ones and the big ones all, at the, uh, all together, and we usually freeze them 
you can have the little ones like a sandwich. There's tons of um, like chaffle recipes, um, tons of just uh, gluten-free recipes. You don't have to do the box, always a variety um, that you can do fitting on your needs. Now, um, <laughs> won't have to fix this. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over see what kind of um, damage that we've done see if I can get it open it takes about it's not even ready it takes about five minutes um, for to get a good crispy waffle all right so I think we've come to the uh, perfect crispiness uh, that would pass the Sam Sam test yeah oh yeah that's nice we got a an email <laughs> from from a subscriber. I'm not sure how she found us because it came in at crew at what yacht to do and you can uh, crew at what yacht to do dot com and you can always email us there and ask us questions. Oh my goodness. Look at that. She said she was a uh, maple syrup snob and I thought that was so funny. We recently got a care package from Brian that we met in St. Louis and he actually has trees and collects his own maple syrup and packages it up and we have some of that to use and it is delicious. So I don't know, we may be borderline maple syrup snobs now too after we've seen the good life. You can use um, sugar-free syrup. Um, you can use um, any kind of syrup, your favorite syrup. You can also have frozen. It's easiest to freeze fruit. It stays good longer, so we freeze. Um, we have that bag of mixed fruit, so you can microwave that, put that on if you're a fruit lover on your waffles. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you our Belgium Waffle Sunday experience. When we have people, we, um, we serve mimosas. And so I would suggest using Cook's uh, Champagne because not only is it delicious, but it's cheap and it's a good mixing champagne. Um, perfect for mimosas. Um, we do have coffee, of course. Um, Sammy, did I miss anything as far as the prep work? You do um, have to, I use this coconut oil to um, spray the, um, the, iron, the waffle iron maker every time between, otherwise it'll stick to the uh, plates there. So, um, thanks for uh, enjoying this. I'll, sh I'll uh, continue with some more breakfast shots, but um, sign up for our newsletter. You can get the inside scoop of what we are doing here on the Here's to Us and uh, stay in touch. All right, breakfast time. Well, I don't want to give you the wrong impression that we just, every Sunday we have uh, mimosas with our Belgium waffle and really live it up. We don't, you know, that's just if we have people over. And um, I wanted to show you different ways. Here is Sammy in action. Yeah. So um, he's got his uh, waffle doctored mm -hmm. up there. He has his special maple syrup uh, from Brian. Mm, it is good. <laughs> and uh, so here having Belgian waffles. Mmm. <laughs> is that the good crispy That's factor? That's a 10.1 on oh. a 10 scale. <laughs> anyway, so uh, having coffee, Belgian waffles, and mimosa, and uh, also answering comments. A lot of great uh, comments coming in, so I like to answer those in the morning, too. So, um, let me encourage you, if you are on a boat for a long period of time, to have a special day where you do something. Ours, as you know, is Belgium Waffle Sunday. You might just pick one that's already established. Have a Taco Tuesday, or a Pizza on Friday, or whatever it is, but... Throw something special in there in the week to keep you on track. Anyway, it works for us. So um, until next time, from the galley, um, you have a great day.